Trevor has $1 billion in GTA 5, and I'm about to spend every single penny of it building a billionaire bunker underneath his house. Michael and Franklin both did this the other day, and Trevor's been a bit jealous lately. So we robbed a few banks, <laughs> and we're ready to go. I wonder where they're going to build this. Like, imagine where this bunker's going to be. They could literally put the entrance underneath my old tumble dryer outside. Of course, Trevor, I've heard all about you. I'll build you your billionaire bunker. It's going to cost you a billion dollars. Have you got the money? Well, I mean, you didn't need to tell me the price. The clue is in the name. Of course I've got the money. Here you go. Take all the money. <laughs> a billion dollars down. This better be a good bunker, dude. I can't wait until it's built. Thank you. All right, come back in three years and it'll be done. Three years? You can't be doing that. I want a refund. Uh, uh, uh. No refunds. Sorry. Hey, if you want it any quicker, you're gonna have to subscribe to the channel. Oh, not this again. Guys, if you want Trevor's billionaire bunker to be built today and not in three years' time, then I'm gonna need you to subscribe to the channel. So please, press the red subscribe button below. Ah, that should be enough. Okay, come back tomorrow and it'll be built. I'm glad we got that sorted. I'm wearing Trevor's best. It actually smells... Tolerable. Okay, Trevor, let's go. Man, there's so many diggers here. What are you gonna do to my house? I mean, considering it's a billionaire bunker, I can't imagine they'll knock down my trailer. Although the convenient part of that is that they probably can pick up my trailer, move it, and build the bunker underneath. Oh my days, dude, I'm so excited. I know we're like the most wanted in Sandy Shores, but now we can actually find somewhere to hide in comfort. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hmm, what do we do now? Wait, I've got a really good idea. I'm gonna go and hang out with Michael. There he is, my guy, Michael. Hey, we're taking your car, okay? We're driving to Los Santos. Unfortunately, Trevor can't go shopping. I spent all of my money just building that billionaire bunker. So we are going to play a very entertaining game instead. Trust me, you're gonna love this, Michael. <laughs> and so are you. Whoever loses one round of golf is going to have to go bold. That's the game. Will it be Michael or will it be Trevor? Dude, it's definitely gonna be Michael. It is not gonna be me. Hey, guys, can you press like to give Trevor some good luck? We all wanna see Michael go bold, so I really wanna see that happen. And I'm sure most of you want to see that happen too. Okay, Trevor, I know you're terrible at golf, but I am here to help you win. Now, we're going to need to increase the strength. Okay, we can only do 100%. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll, we'll do 100 then. And I'm sending the ball right there. Okay, Trevor, don't screw up, please. Oh, oh that was so close. Bam! Oh, we could have done better. We could have done better, Trevor. We could have done better. But that ain't bad. I'll take it. It's decent. We're on the fairway. Let's see how Michael does. If Michael wins, I have to go bold. Where's that going? Okay, Michael did worse than me. That's all that matters. I'm going to try and shoot this ball into the hole. That's pretty much in the hole, guys, all right? Let's go a little bit further back, just like there, and let's do that. I think this is gonna work. Nice one, that's doing a roll, and oh, very close though. I will take it, guys. Now, as long as Michael doesn't get this in the hole, oh my days, oh my goodness, dude, I don't like this. I don't like, this is so, no, don't get it in, don't get it in, don't get it in. Oh, jeez, okay, you got a bogey. We're so gonna get this one in. Get in! Michael's going bold! <laughs> Yes! Sit down, Michael. Sit down, Michael. You're going bold. Michael's going bold. Michael's going bold. Michael's going bold. Hey, Michael! <laughs> oh, don't you run away from me. <laughs> You're so going bold. Okay, I'm taking you to the nearest hairdressers, and we are gonna have some fun. Hey, do you wanna get a mustache as well whilst you're at it? I mean, I can think of some pretty good ones. The best thing about this is Michael can't grow his hair back for at least, like, another six months. At least nobody else would know you're gray. <laughs> Oh, the roast, they're great. And we have arrived. You know, the beautiful thing about this is Michael is going to have to pay for himself to go bald. Because I don't have any money, Michael. <laughs> so come on, pay up, buddy. We're going to get a haircut. Hey, what's the matter, Michael? You don't want people seeing you bald? <laughs> hey, let me help you. Wow, no, he really doesn't want me to help him, guys. Let me help you. Come on, I got people who want to see this. Oh, he wants dropping off. He literally wants to go. Look at this, guys. Friend drop-off point. He wants me to go there. I fancy doing something else, Michael. How about one? game of tennis. If I win, then I get to dress you in whatever I want to. If you win, then you get to make me go bald. Hang on a second. Is that hair I can see, Michael? You didn't even go bald. Oh, that's so disappointing. Okay, guys, mark my words. When I smash Michael at tennis, I'm dressing him in the most embarrassing outfit ever. Okay, let's go. One game and I get to serve. Oh, yes. I got the advantage. All right, Michael. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He does not want to lose. Whoa. <laughs> yes. First point to Trevor. Michael, you can't just cheat me like that, okay? 
Okay, I told you to go bold, to cut everything off. You wouldn't even do that. All right, let's throw that one that side. And I've already won. Get in. Michael, sit down. I get to dress you however I want to. <laughs> Mwah! Masterpiece. It's the middle of the night and Michael's dressed up like he's going to a bar in Hawaii. <laughs> You're in your boxes, Michael. Come on. Anyway, it's getting late, Michael. I want to go to my billionaire bunker. So do you mind if I crash at yours? Yeah, I can't really go home. Well, that's been a very entertaining day for Trevor. I'm so glad I didn't lose any of those games. But for now, I am going to get some rest. So come on, Trevor. I will see you guys in the morning. Home sweet home. And the builders have gone. They must have done their job. Now, this billionaire bunker, it's meant to be underneath this house right now. Dude, I can't wait to check this place out. Now, the only problem is I've done it again. I didn't choose a location to put the... Oh, my days. I don't even know where the entrance is, guys. Why do we keep doing this, Trevor? We did it with Franklin and Michael, and now I still forgot with Trevor. We were having too much fun annoying Michael. Hey, Ron, did you see where they built the bunker? He doesn't even know what bunker I'm talking about. Okay, Trevor, let's start exploring. Let's think about this, okay? If I was building a bunker in Trevor's house, it's got to be in this plot, and I reckon it's going to be outside. You know, they're going to be searching the house high and low if anyone comes looking after Trevor, so it's got to be outside. How about... Hmm, these boxes look a little bit suspicious. There's a handle in the floor! Oh, my days! Dude, <laughs> First try. Are you kidding me? Okay, open the handle and let's go. Right, here goes nothing. I'm going down. Oh, this place is so deep. Guys, this is a proper underground bunker. This is a proper billionaire bunker. No one gets bunkers like these. This is at least 100 meters underground. No one can hear us. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I like. <laughs> Look at all of these cars. How do we even get them out of here, guys? There's just a ladder. Hmm, garage door. So that's definitely what I came through, but I don't understand how I'm supposed to get them out. I'll try it out later, guys. Maybe Maybe there's some magic which goes on. So I've got so many golden supercars down here. Even a meeting point just to chill. Nice. Oh, look who it is. It's Trevor. Hey, you're looking cool on the TV. Sandy Shaw's billionaire. Hey, not anymore. <laughs> I spent all of my money on this bunker. This is a massive upgrade from what you had before. Check this place out. He's got one of these chairs. What, like a shade long? I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> but we get to chill and read all about the Wall Street crash or whatever and just look at rock. So tranquil. If you ever need to lose five stars, just calm down here, Trevor. Okay, we got lots. Lots of rock out here, plenty of seats, lots of lights reflecting from the windows. That must come from inside here, but I love the way it's being designed. So we got another TV. All right, there's a fridge, coffee machine, microwave. Everything you need is here, guys. And there's even like storage above just for his wine. I didn't even realize Trevor likes wine, but hey, he does. This must be Trevor's office. Pretty nice. We got a heist board down here. It's even locked with a keypad. That is awesome. Moving along, there's another door around here, which takes us to the bedroom, the master bedroom. A lovely view of the rocks outside. King size bed. Three fires next to me. Yo, guys, this is awesome. Oh, look, it's me again. Trevor, the Sandy Shores billionaire. So this must be the wardrobe. Wow, you've got a lot of hats, Trevor. I didn't take you for a hat person, but uh, hey, that's a lot of hats. Jeans, tops, lots of t-shirts, even a green one. Hey, I can't imagine Trevor wearing a shirt that green. This is insane. Dude, look at this. I got a toilet and a rug underneath the toilet. I can't even fit a rug in my lounge. Trevor's got one in his toilet, and he's got a TV to watch. This is bigger than my lounge in real life. I'm not even joking. And this is the shower, which is bigger than my kitchen. Dude, that is crazy. Oh my days. Okay, we got a hot tub. Nice. Four different taps which go inside and moving along. Okay, a games room. I like it. We got a snooker table. Lovely view of the rocks outside. Floor lights, massive table, and another TV. Hold up. No. They did not do this. They built me an entire basketball court. And it's got music. Surround sound music. We gotta play some basketball. Come on. Maybe we can get Franklin involved. You know, Michael definitely is not going to play basketball after today. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I have an entire basketball court and it's even got windows. Check it out, guys. Just let that sink in. And there's two flat screen TVs right above the basketball court. Four of them, actually. There's four. This is an insane entertainment space. And oh my days. No, 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 no. I can see a swimming sign. This is a swimming pool. And there's a hot tub. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, I have got to say I'm impressed. You know, it's going to be difficult choosing my favorite billionaire bunker. This one has a swimming pool inside and a waterfall. What? Trevor, this is awesome. You got a hot tub and a TV in the hot tub. Some champagne on the side because, you know, champagne life and even a treadmill and some like deck chairs to lounge around on. This must be the shower room. Okay, this is where you rinse off before and after. Nice. Well, I gotta say guys, I am extremely impressed with Trevor's billionaire bunker, but now we need to vote on our favorite one. If you have seen Michael and Franklin's billionaire bunker, then you're okay. If you haven't, go and check them out. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash like and remember to subscribe to the channel. It will make my Christmas. And if you want to grab yourself some super comfortable normal
Pokemon merchandise. Click the link in the description below and use discount code SANTA10 at checkout. You'll get 10% off everything in your basket. But you can only use it once and it's valid until the end of the year. So get using it now, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Nort. And until next time, stay awesome.